the hyperscalers that do well, right? Because the fundamental thing is, if you sort of go back to even how Sam and others describe it, I mean, like if, you know, intelligence is log of compute, mm -hmm. whoever can do lots of compute right. is a big winner. Right. Um, and the other interesting thing is, if you look at underneath even any AI workload, like take ChatGPT, it's not like everybody's excited about what's happening on the GPU side. It's great, but it's like the ratio... Like, in fact, I think of my fleet even as a ratio of the AI accelerator to storage to compute. And at scale, you've got to grow it. Yeah. Um, and so that infrastructure need for the world um, is just going to be exponentially growing. Right. right? So, in fact, it's mana from heaven to have uh, um, these AI workloads because guess what? They're more hungry for more compute, right? Right. Not just for training, but we now know for test time. And as I said, test time, like here's an interesting thing. When you think of an AI agent, it turns out the AI agents is going to exponentially increase compute usage because yeah. you now are not even bound by just one human invoking a program. It's but one human invoking programs that invoke lots more programs. Right. And so that's going to create massive, massive demand and scale yeah. for compute infrastructure. So our hyperscale business, Azure business, I think that's like, and other hyperscalers, I think that's a big thing.